Princess Anne the sensible royal, you can argue about the merits of a monarchy, and many do, until the cows come home. Elitist. Legacy of a bygone era, is it an anachronism in the 21st century? All of these points can be made convincingly. To answer that, you could say that stability and a visionary vision are better than any of the possible alternatives. Point me in the direction of a country in the world where true democracy benefits everyone. Welcome to Royal Realm. If you're new here please do not forget to subscribe, like and hit the notification bell to remain updated about the British royal family. But putting aside any personal feelings about this, you'd have to be pretty rude not to admire the work of Princess Anne who was in East Lancashire yesterday. Women are a real machine. While the rest of her family suffers misfortunes due to ill health or in several cases self-imposed numbness, yes that's you Andrew and Harry. Anne continues to carry on regardless. Whatever the weather, whatever the task you're on to represent the House of Windsor PLC, Debrett would probably say this is inappropriate and not something to mention about a lady, but we also shouldn't forget the fact that she is 73 years old and shows no signs of slowing down or even pausing to take a breath. In fact, with the general elections approaching, what about reaching a constitutional settlement? Princess Anne for Prime Minister would have brought some sense of order to Westminster. Thanks for watching till the end.